Welcome to the cyber dystopia of synthetic. I am your host, Attack Slug. This game launches out on Steam on March the 15th, 2018 for $14.99, 15 bucks. As always, full disclosure, this game provided by the publisher. Now, this game is a top-down roguelite, but it is not, I repeat, not a dual joystick deal. Perhaps at some point it will be, but as of right now, it is strictly mouse and keyboard because it is way more hardcore than your average dual joystick game. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll get into this menu stuff later, but let's hop into the game first and foremost. I've made it up to the boss like once. This is a very unforgiving. It does have two player online co-op. I'm kind of not going to get into that bit of beardness in this video, but that is in here if that's the kind of thing you're interested in. Uh, but you can see here, I'm this little dude, right? Top down, three quarter overhead view. Uh, my mouse is my reticule, um, reticle, whatever. Uh, and you can see when I move up and down here, how it gets bigger, it is very important if you want to actually get an accurate shot to be standing still. Now, obviously, you're going to be standing still and the enemies are going to be shooting at you. So also, having your little circle here on the head of the enemy is a good chance to get yourself a headshot. So, that being said, I have a health bar, I have a shield. Uh, I have some items here on the left, auto taser, stun grenade, and uh, some health vials. You can change your loadout as you go into the stages, and uh, you kind of go through these stages and look for the exit, and fight the enemies along the way. So, they will very much, uh, if they see you, they will search you out. If they hear you, they will search you out. Inspect the perimeter. I have a dash maneuver to kind of get myself out of any kind of bad situations. Oh, like that. Um, and the most important thing that I'm going to get into here as soon as I just either die or don't die is the fact that there's one is the fact that uh, when you get to the end of your ammo clip it's not you, you should not be mashing on reload. Because, like a real gun, if you do that, you're going to run out of ammo, right? So this game, unlike a lot of games in this genre, you have to eject the clip and then reload, and then it has a Gears of War active reload type scenario. Uh, which makes things, on a keyboard, as someone who's just used to playing dual joystick deals, way more intense. Especially in the middle of a firefight. It gets really, really Ridiculous. Um, you will find boxes in the environment that have either items, weapons, ammunition, etc., etc. There are things to pick up and collect uh, to get yourself, obviously, a better shot at getting through these stages, which are, what i played thus far, quite difficult. Again, I made it to that first boss, like, one time, and it was not easy. Missed, missed, missed. Uh, the ball guys, nope, I... Nope, nope, this is all going horribly wrong. Wasted ammo, I didn't mean to do that. It's the wrong button. So, there are options to be able to not have to have the eject function, uh, and those options give you less experience as you play the stages. So you have a way to kind of have your gameplay be tailored more toward the style that you want to play it at, essentially, ideally. So, watching your ammo count uh, as you head toward a firefight is uh, kind of essential. Kind of more than essential. Um, and more enemies hearing me is not jammed. So your guns can jam, and that's a problem. So yeah, it's... Unlike a lot of games in this genre, it is very, very tactical. And also very, very difficult. There we go. This is a UPG. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm gonna get it. Upgrade. Okay. UPG's Upgrade. So now I have uh, a upgrade to my thing. I would have preferred a new weapon, but it's a roguelite, so therefore it's all procedural. It's all randomized. So I can make him jam up. You can see there in the right, it just said, hey, exit. The exit's down here somewhere. Uh, so we're going to proceed very carefully through this stage and hopefully not meet any more. Nope, all right. There's at least, at least three guys down here. At least. Uh, so that's a problem right here is a... This little screw over here is a pickup, is a, is a collectible uh, that will help me do something. I'm going to go over here and grab it. That's what it is. Bolt. It is a bolt. Um, I'm not really sure what that does, but what? 
the hell? I didn't... No! Nah, son! Nah, son, what was that? Ah! This is all going poorly. Headshot, headshot! There we go. Okay. I didn't lose too much health there. So you obviously have the fact that you... You can take a couple of hits um, before you start losing health. And you will find occasionally pickups either in the environment or pickups from the enemies or, you know, that kind of thing. But hiding behind the walls is kind of important. Now, when you find an exit, first of all, what do we got? Sidewinder. Homing missiles. Um, yes. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, when you find the exit, right? The exit makes noise. Let's actually eject here. Waste the bullet. Get back into it. Um, the, the exit makes noise here, right? And if there, if, if there are any enemies in the vicinity as you're making noise, they will converge on that exit. Uh, so you kind of want to do clear out uh, that region before actually getting into the exit is a good idea. Uh, we have this thing here is a report known intruder lo locations. Raise alert level. I don't want to do... I'm not actually... I have not seen that before, so I don't want to do that. So we're going to go to the right here instead and hopefully not trigger too many enemies at the same time. Ooh, yes! Oh, there's a guy right there. There's a guy right there. Purging. Missiles are awesome. Yes, they are. What do we have for a new weapon? Give it to me. A nail gun. What? Okay. That's, um... How does that compare to what I have? I'm not sure that that's actually a good thing to have. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, I'll try it. Uh, it's always good to have more, you know, options in your weaponry. Sure, yeah. That he he managed to he managed to get smoked all the same. So I'm gonna pick up this uh, upgrade here, damage boost. Too many guys, too many guys. So obviously hiding behind things, um, kind of important, kind of important because it gets real rough. I think this thing auto reloads. I think it auto. That, that's actually a really useful thing to have when you're playing the game. Like I play the game, having an auto reload function is actually really cool. So I, t I take it back, nail gun. Perhaps you will be actually useful to me uh, in this run I'm having right now. So we're gonna. That thing shoots fire, um, and these guys are kind of just the usual. Oops. Reload. I, I messed it up. I messed it up. So you can kind of kite them around in a way, which can be useful. And obviously changing your guns when you need to, useful. Um, so I dig that. And just, yeah, the whole vibe here. The whole cyberpunk, uh, roguelite, super difficult vibe is a thing that I dig a lot. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I thought I was totally burned out on this genre, and they still managed to drag me in one more time for something a little bit different, something a little bit harder. Um, and I can get down with that. Really? Missiles? Come on. Okay. One, oh, crud. Run away. But yes, the, the part where it's the keyboard is and can be uh, quite difficult, to be honest. As someone who's so used to playing these with a dual joystick, uh, it is, uh, heal up, difficult. But no, I, I appreciate a game that has, you know, a bit of, uh, trickiness in the controls, because you kind of have to learn something different. And I'm all about learning something different in a video game. But those things I don't like, that's the, yep. I'm not a fan of those things. I'm not a fan. All right, we got a box over here. Another upgrade, or no, an item? I can't tell what that is. But I'm getting it. Some data. So that the data and the credits are how you upgrade your overall stuff. And we'll get into that here as soon as I die, which shouldn't take too much longer, to be honest. Uh, shouldn't take too much longer. Get over here. I use that dash too soon. My shields! My freaking shields! There we go. Oh, there's another guy over there. I didn't even see him. Didn't even see him. Shooky ducky. Quack, quack. Alright. I still have two 
health vials here. I'm doing all right in that department. Um, ooh, there's all kinds of boxes over in this stage. Ammo, baby. I can dig that. Yep. Ooh, what is that? You don't always want to run in on stuff because that could be a, a hassle. But. But. Come on. Get him. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. There's the exit. And a bolt. Now, I'm not sure what the bolts do. I never gotten six of them, so I really couldn't tell you. Um, But I'm sure they do something. Anyway, here we go. Um, so there are timed chests, and I've never gotten to one in time yet. So I'm not sure how much better of an item they might have in them, to be honest. Crap. And I jam my gun! I jam my nail gun. No, aim properly. Thank you much. So yeah, definitely not a game to rush around in. You rush around, you get smoked. It's very, very tactical, very, um, oh. I want to go that way. Very tactical, very uh, deliberate is the word I would use in terms of how you handle uh, the combat in this game and the combat scenarios. Is that the timed one or is that something else? Well, we'll take care of... Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax yourself. Give me this. Oh, it locked 25 seconds to... Oh, I was just a half minute off. A half minute off. What? A waste. So yeah, there are also stationary deals here that are a hassle to deal with. Um, and whoops. They will mess you up pretty good, so definitely don't want to get in their line of sight for too long. There's another bolt. Yeah, I'm just going to die here because this is all going terrible. And you kind of get the idea of how this plays out outside of the bosses, which are obviously much harder than what this is. But when it, go when it pops off, it pops off. And uh, it gets kind of ridiculous and you kind of ideally don't want to deal with that many enemies at one time you want to run the hell away because it's gonna go real bad for you regardless but it's a roguelike roguelites it's run based and you're gonna have a bunch of runs and you're gonna gain experience you're gonna gain uh data to be able to you know do more stuff in so that is the core gameplay loop th thus far, right? So I'm going to hit continue here. My current overall level here is 4, and I now have additional research. When I have level 5, I can unlock microchips. When the game gets released and updated, it's not quite out yet. Um, and you can see here, there are additional things to get, additional things to, s to spend your data on. I have 28 right now, all right? But so, not only is that multiplayer, there's also four different classes in the game. And in those four classes, you have a loadout. And you unlock things as part of your loadout, also things to spend your data on, and get new ways to play, new ways to spec towards how you want to play. So there's those four of those, right? Uh, those have their own class levels and benefits. When you hit a level here, like five, you will get an additional class benefit for each class that you play as, uh, up to le level 20. And so the modifiers is how you want to make the game harder for yourself, but you're going to gain more data and more experience. So you can see here, base level, right? Turning everything off is 60%. You add base to 90%, and you add those things on uh, incoming damage, right? But it grants better loot. You can turn off the manual ejection. So if you don't like having to do that, you can totally t turn it off. You can turn off your gun jamming. If you, if you don't like that, you can totally turn it off. Um, but also flinching, scorching... Haste, Deflection, Hardcore 1, Criticals, Fragile, and Dead Eye. So, you want to go 205% more difficult? You totally can. I wouldn't. Um, I was doing fine playing it on uh, 100%. But you do you, right? So there's that, there's the research, uh, and then your item database. Like any good roguelite, roguelike, etc., etc., you have a number of items that could appear in any given game you're in, and here they are color-coded with different uh, levels of item. You have epic items, etc., etc., et and then obviously bunch of different guns to get. So that nail gun was one. I just got that for the first time. 
I like the fact that it regen the ammo as you were playing it. Uh, is pretty, is pretty neat. But yeah, the first bit I bought for research gives you uh, more variance in your potential rare ultra weapons, which I haven't found any of yet. But hey, I'm gonna keep playing, so perhaps I will. Anyway, this is synthetic launching tomorrow on Steam. I think it does a whole lot different than your average top-down roguelite, of which there are dozens upon dozens these days. Uh, 15 bucks. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.